here at Rooster Bike Tours, we choose GPX Viewer Pro for your safe navigation while on tour. It is a simple and easy to use top down navigator. Our GPX files will be compatible with other turn by turn navigators like Ride with GPS, but we don't recommend them. They can often try and make suggested edits and may not display the points of interest correctly also. It is for accuracy and your enjoyment that we use GPX Viewer Pro so that you get to experience your tour exactly how it was designed. When you first open GPX Viewer Pro on Android, you'll see a screen similar to this. A nice feature of this app is that you can use offline map data in case you run into data issues while on the trails. We recommend downloading the offline map data for the country you're touring in before arriving. At the top of the screen, you'll see two folding map icons. Press the one without the globe to bring up the offline map options. When you press it, you'll see download in the bottom left hand corner. On the next screen, hit the plus circle on the bottom right. I'm recording this from the Netherlands, so I'm going to download the offline data for this country. Depending on your internet speed, this download can take up to 15 minutes. Leave your phone aside and don't interrupt it, otherwise it may not successfully fully download. Now we're going to run through an example of how to use GPX Viewer to navigate day one of your tour. First, go into the email where you've received your GPX files. It will be attached to your Psychopack email along with your itinerary and general info guide. Select Day 1 and select GPX Viewer Pro as the app to open it. When the app opens, it will give you an overview of your route and the points of interest. Next, we want the app to find where we are on the map. Press the turquoise circle with the arrow on it once. It will ping to your location. If we press it again, it will rotate the map based on your orientation. We would recommend this as it is the easiest to follow while on the paths. You may have noticed, I'm not located at the start of the trail. The starting point on day one will either be your bike rental shop or a landmark in the area you're staying. To get to the start point of each day, there is a quick link in your itinerary with its location. Either use Google Maps to navigate your way there or visually use GPX Viewer if you can see how to get to the start. The start point of each day is typically the finish point from the previous day, but not always. Check your itinerary to be sure. The app is as simple as keeping your dot position on the outline trail. The GPX files have been combed for accuracy and safety. Try to stay on the line as closely as possible. Sometimes the trail outline may not quite match what you see in front of you, due to construction, etc. Use your better judgement to rejoin the trail further up the route. Remember, always follow the local rules of the road described in our general info guide. On the trail outline, you will come across markers. These are points on the map of particular interest. They may be a ferry crossing, a landmark, or an activity point. Press the marker once and it will display the full name. A more detailed explanation of each marker is in your itinerary, which you should be familiar with already. We will see the end point approaching. Congratulations, you finished day one. If at any point the GPX isn't following you, just double check that it is displaying your speed at the bottom. If it isn't rotating with your orientation, check that a small triangle is displayed above your speed. Next, we're going to pretend that we're starting day 2. The process is the exact same as before. Open day 2 GPX file from your email. You'll notice the start point for day 2 is the finish point from day 1. Double check your itinerary that it is the same before starting your day. If you don't like the elevation the view is displayed, you can at any point zoom further in or out to your liking. Now we're going to loop back to the start. We've already downloaded offline map data for a country that we're riding in. Although it shouldn't be an issue, there may be moments where we run into data problems. On the navigation screen, press the map icon that does not have a globe on it. This will bring up the offline maps menu. Then press OK. It will look different than the online map option, but the route outline will be the exact same. We typically recommend staying in online map option where possible, as the display is usually more up to date. Press the map icon with the globe, and then press OK to get back into the online map mode. This concludes our how-to guide on GPX Viewer Pro. If you're having any issues, you can always reach us on WhatsApp, and with the screen sharing function, we will get you back on route. Thank you.